whenever I look at my left and my right, I'm always seeing marriage content, family content, love content, a lot of relationship content these days. And I feel like when I see them, I'm always happy. I'm always feeling the oh, you know, the God win kind of, you know, single people. <laughs> There was a pact that married people made. They came out and they said, you see, single people, we are going to frustrate their lives. And I think the plan is working, you know, it's really working. They are doing the, a very good job because so many people are getting married. And I don't understand with all the relationship problems that we keep having every day, people are still getting married. Like nothing is hindering this love of a thing. Nothing. People are getting married. People are falling in love. People are having children. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, you are really, you are really doing it. Okay. So there's been a lot of content all over and, um, I'm happy for them. Even though I'm single, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. But then there are some things that, um, I have seen that I would like to talk about. I feel like we don't talk about a lot of things. We just, you know, try to cover things up, but that's why I am here to talk about those things that people don't want to talk about. You see this thing called um love i had an argument with my sister one time where we were like is there anything like true love like does true love really exist and during the course of that argument we got to a point where we we're like well <laughs> maybe it's only the one that god has for us that is like genuine true love but i feel like there is like there's true love and for people who have experienced it they understand what i'm saying Listen, true love, I'm not talking about monetary love now. I'm talking about true, deep, deep one, like true love. I feel like it really exists, okay? There's true love out there. I have experienced it like the real true love. I have experienced it. And the argument I was having with my sister happened to be if true love can die, you know? Like, you know that moment when you fall in love with a person, both of you are together, you're in a relationship, and then along the, along the line, something happens, and both of you have to go your separate ways. So what happens when you go your separate ways? Does it mean you now hate the person, or does the love go down? You know, does it reduce? Do you begin to dislike the person and all of that? So I had, I talked to my sister and at a point I was like, no, I don't think true love can ever, ever die. I feel like when you fall in love with somebody, genuine love, and um, you guys go your separate ways, you still have love for that person. I'm talking about true, genuine love. I'm not talking of those infatuations and the rest of the things people call them. But I'm talking about like, you still have genuine love for that person. That's why you see some people are in a relationship perfect relationship everything is perfect and all of that the thing that breaks people up does not concern your love maybe it is a health challenge maybe both of you are like asas and you cannot get married or in some people's situations where the families do not approve of the marriage or something there's just an external force that kind of love does not die that's what i'm saying like it doesn't die you have to go your separate ways it was hurtful you even cried you didn't want to do it but you just had to because of the external forces like it wasn't you guys that kind of thing i don't think the love ever really dies okay it's a situation where okay you put go your separate ways and then you get to meet other people you are using those other people to forget your true love which in the end doesn't really happen because these people end up getting married to why is it raining why is it raining i don't understand anyway these people end up getting married to people who they do not love and you you sometimes think you can transfer the love from that your first love to this person but it's not always the case okay you could get married to this person you guys are living happily just one glance like that person from your past if that person just reappears that your marriage begins to shake because you're like the reason why i actually left him was because we were not you know compatible health wise or our parents objected to our getting married you know and this spark just comes back so that's why most of the time i don't think true love dies i don't think it can ever die like you cannot hate somebody that you genuinely loved especially when the person did you no wrong and you guys just went your separate ways it's not just possible for you to start to hate somebody like that i don't think it's possible so in my opinion true love can never die when you love a person you love the person all the way okay if you're hearing any noise it's raining i don't know why it's raining 
I don't understand. But yeah, personally, I don't think true love ever dies. And that is why you see people who fell in love, genuine love, over the years. You are still thinking about that person. You are still hoping the next relationship is going to be like the relationship you had with that person. So most of the time, the people that they end up with end up suffering because I don't, I don't really love you like that. We are just here, you know. So if you love somebody truly and you don't end up together, it's a really sad feeling. I, I am in that situation now, so I understand what it feels like because I experienced true love and some, somewhere along the line something an external force happened and whenever i think of the person i don't think of him in a sad way or in an angry way i still have that genuine love for that person you understand and it is so hard to move on from somebody you truly loved like it is really hard for you to be able to do that it takes a lot of strength and courage and all of that so it is really hard so if you have somebody that you genuinely love and you guys are not together i'm so sorry i understand because i'm wearing that shoe right now so i really understand it's not easy we are really going through a lot we are going through a lot and it's so hard because whenever you now get like somebody else is interested in you and you want to like start another relationship you're scared because you're like is it going to be like that one is this person going to genuinely love me is it going to be real you know all those questions are like in your head and you know it's hard but true love never dies nothing 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 can make true love to die it can never die it's just like the love god has for us it never dies no matter the kind of sin we commit i read somewhere or i heard somewhere where they said god does not hate a sinner that he doesn't hate the sinner he hates the sin that we commit so god's love for us never dies he loves us unconditionally even if we're being stupid and you know disobedient he still loves us you understand he just does not like what we do most of the time but yeah true love never dies and if you are experiencing true love right now um, you don't know what god has done for you you should be really really happy and um, i pray that you know all of us end up experiencing the true genuine love because it is so important it is really important there's nothing like true love okay forget all these people telling you money this money that there is nothing like true love nothing nothing can beat true love seriously nothing